Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the hidden truth message for my Cancerians, okay? So if you have cancer anywhere on your natal chart, my love, no matter the placement, no matter whether it is your eastern or your western chart, this reading is intended for you, okay? If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you back. Thank you to everybody who has already subscribed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let us go ahead and get into this hidden truth message for my Cancerians, okay? I hope that this video and this reading finds you all doing well. And thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who is still, you know, working and who is going outside every day to make sure that everything is still able to maintain, okay? Thank you so much for everything that you're doing. So let us see. <clears throat> let us see. So, first card out is suffering in silence, okay? Suffering in silence for you guys. <clears throat> Triumphant success in reverse. Spiritual strength in reverse. I feel there was a situation that you guys have gone through, okay? And it could have been where you separated yourself from a person, okay? Now, you find yourself in a predicament where you may need this person, okay? Or you may wish that this person was around, but they aren't. You may also feel like you don't have the strength to keep going at this time. I just want to let you know you do, all right? Spirit is always with you and always pray for the strength that you need. I do feel like sometimes, though, when we pray for strength, um, Spirit is going to give us certain tests, okay? to make us strong and i feel like that's what may be going on maybe you have been praying for strength okay i feel this energy where you don't really speak to other people about your problems but you do pray about them all right let's see what else we got for you we have triumph in reverse <clears throat> discontent and boredom in reverse I mean, upright position, sorry. And we also have harmony in reverse, okay? So you guys could be going through, like I said, a separation from a person, okay? Um, this person was very significant to you. Could be a soulmate relationship. This would be a divine lover's card in any other deck, okay? But this is like a soulmate relationship or a separation, okay? Somebody that you really do care about. Now, keep in mind that this doesn't have to be romance, but for some of you it is, okay? This relationship just didn't work out or is not working the way that you had in mind for it to work, all right? I feel this energy where you're bored with it. You have been for a while, okay? But I feel like you don't speak to this person about it, especially with triumphant success in reverse. It's like maybe if you communicate it, things would be able to work for you. But I feel this energy where with the Ace of Swords in reverse, you don't communicate. You also don't feel like you have the strength to carry on with this situation. They could have something to do with finances and or stability with this color red here for your root chakra. So anything that makes you feel stable, okay? Your assets, what you own, what you have could be your home, bills, you know, just whatever needs to be taken care of every single month with this root chakra energy, okay? <clears throat> Let me see what else we get for you guys. We have rejoice in celebration. I feel three hearts, three cups, and I feel balance here. So I feel like after everything that you guys go through, there is going to be a celebration for you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I feel like maybe you're going to be rejoicing simply because you're moving away from this energy, okay? I feel like once you move away from this energy, you will have balance back in your life. So some of you are allowing yourselves to be drained because you're remaining wherever you are. Others of you have already exited out of this situation, okay? So this is something that has already happened. Um, Spirit is trying to get some of you to, to make that move though to make that transition because you'll be happier okay is what i'm getting here <clears throat> we have hope in reverse hope in reverse is the indicator that you guys have lost hope in the situation okay you don't feel like it's any revival for it whatsoever um however there is something or someone that you're very passionate about it's just not this thing or this person all right and remember i said before with the root chakra look what's the underlying energy base chakra root chakra so go figure. I figured that was going to be there, okay? So yeah, whatever this situation is, you guys have been keeping it to yourselves about how you really feel here. But with the number nine, this situation is completing. There is a new beginning that Spirit has for you here with triumphant success being a one. However, with it in reverse, like I said, there's lack of clarity and also lack of communication, whether that be on your behalf or the other party's behalf. With spiritual strength here in reverse, like I said, we pray for strength and Spirit gives us... Um, situations that test our endurance okay with spiritual strength in reverse as you can see this person is physically tired but with the green you know um imagery that's like 
your heart, your heart space or your heart chakra energy, okay? Meaning you can endure whatever as long as your heart is in it. You can be physically tired, but if your heart is in it, you're good. This in reverse is like your heart has tapped out. You know what I'm saying? You don't have the strength to display at this time towards this situation in any way. Or you feel like that, right? You feel like you can't be successful with triumph in, in reverse. Everything that's about overcoming, it's in reverse. You feel at this point you can't overcome, okay? You guys can't overcome. You can't overcome. Some Something can't be overcame, okay? With discontent and boredom, like I said, you're bored with the situation. You're tired of the situation. Or you feel like this is the person when it comes to you, all right? <clears throat> we have harmony in reverse so yeah a separation a breakup something of that nature okay that is taking place because like i said either you them or both parties have lost hope in the situation and there's going to be something for you to celebrate somewhere else once you do free yourself okay from this situation Balance will come back into your life for you, okay? Spirit has these blessings for you. It's just a matter of removing yourself. Like I said, number nine, allow this situation to complete, okay? So that balance can restore in your life, all right? But like I said, there's something in someone that you are passionate about, or this can be you getting a sense of a revived spirit after you walk away. Because see here, gold is the color of divine protection, okay? So with this here, this purple, this is definitely your crown chakra energy, okay? So spirit is saying, hey, right when you're ready to tap out, you'll get your second wind giving you follow this divine guidance, okay? So some of you are allowing yourselves to stay stuck in a situation, and I say stuck because that's how you feel, um, a lot longer than spirit wants for you, okay? Spirit wants for you to be happy, so I feel like a lot of you need to go ahead and follow that divine guidance. Let us see what other messages come through for our Cancerians. <clears throat> Let us see. Message of hidden truth for our Cancerians. If it resonates, give it a thumbs up, guys. Okay. If you enjoy viewing, give it a thumbs up. If this can relate to somebody you know, please do share it with them. All right. Thank you guys so much for all of your shares, your likes, your comments, and subscriptions. It is much, much, much appreciated. <clears throat> So first card out we have is Eight of Wands in reverse, Two of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Pentacles upright. So like I said in the beginning, it's definitely something concerning finances or when it comes to a person just feeling like there's, you know, hope loss when it comes to a relationship, a situation, whatever, okay, there's hope loss. Two of Pentacles in reverse. A person has lost their footing or has lost their balance, okay? Eight of Pentacles, I mean, Eight of Wands in reverse. This is stagnation or lack of movement, okay? Five of Pentacles. Spirit is kind of forewarning you that if you don't remove yourself from the situation, it's going to lead to, you know, poverty. It's going to lead to hardship, okay? So what exactly is going on? We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So I do feel this energy where at this time you may be coming off a little bit cold, Okay, you may be coming off as a little bit cold, but I just feel this energy where Queen of Swords is very focused. She's about her business. So with this in reverse, this could be because, like I said, someone is not taking things as serious as you feel they should. Okay, someone is constantly getting you involved in situations you feel like you're disappointed with. Okay, um... And so now she's protecting herself. Now she's defending herself. Okay, so never mind the sex, whether it's you're a guy, doesn't matter. And then we have the two of swords here. So this is where you can see a situation for what it is. But because your heart is involved, you try not to see it for what it is, right? You try to make it into something else. You try to paint a different picture, okay? So <clears throat> underlying energy is your energy in reverse. Queen of Cups, okay? So, I also, what is this? Nine of Cups. You're not happy. You're not happy with the investments that you've made into certain people, into certain things, okay? I do feel some of you may, um, there may be a water sign male or female, somebody of the opposite sex for you, whoever's watching, okay, out there that you do find yourself attracted to, okay? <clears throat> that could be that passion ignited. So, maybe a situation, a flame kind of went out in one candle and ignite it on another one, you know? Spirit, please confirm this Eight of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. All right, we have the Page of Cups. So, yeah, this is like a person being inexperienced when it comes to 
how they communicate their feelings or how they express their feelings. This can also be a young water sign, okay? This can be somebody who is young and feels like they have the whole rest of their lives ahead of them. But with this Eight of Wands, like I said, there keeps being things that stand in your way. All right, so you feel like, how can I get to that queen or king position if I'm always standing still or I'm always stagnant or every time I try to move ahead, I'm being pulled back in some way? We have the Hierophant here to clarify the Two of Pentacles in reverse. And remember I said you're being guided, right, out of the situation, a lot of you, so that you can get balance back into your life. The Two of Pentacles, I said a person lost their footing, they lost their balance. This is about divine guidance. Okay, so go figure. Follow the divine guidance to gain your balance back. Now let's see what's going on with this Five of Pentacles energy. The Moon card in reverse. This is truth being revealed to you, okay? Poverty, hardship, being left out in the cold, being put out. Somebody may be facing homelessness at this time. Okay, with the Five of Pentacles here. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? Queen of Swords energy in reverse. Let us see. Three of Swords. Like I said, somebody has been hurt, okay? Somebody feels like now they have to defend themselves because you put me in this situation or you keep putting us in this situation, whatever it is, right? But we keep going through this. And so a person feels like enough already, okay? Let us see. Two of Swords energy. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like if you leave, like I said, you get your opportunity to be successful. You thrive and all of that. Okay, so I don't know. Let us see. We got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This situation is not equal when it comes to give and take. Okay, it's out of balance for you. And it's definitely blocking your blessings with the star card in reverse, okay? Some of you are afraid to move on. I feel like maybe the other person won't let you move on, okay, with the world card in reverse. But it's best for you to do so, okay? It could be a fire sign because we have the um, queen of wands here. So remember I said pay no attention to the sex, right? So it could be uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Six of wands in reverse situation is not going to be successful, it hasn't been, it won't, because remember, we have a knave here too. It's like a person wants to constantly put their foot down or, you know, say what they have to say, but with the world card reverse to not let you leave, but you are feeling like this. You're feeling like your blessings are blocked. You're feeling like the situation is not equal give and take. You feel like you give a lot more than they give. You feel like you have been doing that for a while. You feel like they're not feeling where you're coming from, but if the shoe is on the other foot, who the hell would want to deal with it? So you're in this queen of swords position where you're like, I can't take this anymore. All right, so let us go ahead and get you some guidance cards, okay? Let's see. Get you some guidance. Guidance for our Cancerian spirit. Let's see. I feel like some of you may actually still decide to stay, okay? Because you may feel like you don't know where else to go. That's ultimately the energy that I feel here. Not because you don't want to leave, but because you don't know where else to go. Some of you may be married because we have contract here in reverse, but I also saw caring connections upright. But you have a relationship like with a kindred spirit somewhere else. Okay? And this is why another reason why you should just leave. You know, don't cheat, just leave type energy. So let us see. Angel of love here. Okay, so that's your guidance card. Exactly. Follow your heart, Cancer. Okay, that's my advice to you. Follow your heart. Don't be miserable. The world. Exactly. Remember I said someone didn't want to let things in, but the situation is already ended. So it's kind of like, this is going to be very gruesome. So excuse me in advance. But we have the thinking woman. So you know better already. It's like your mind and your heart are in one accord. That it wants to leave. That it's done. That it's over it. Right? So why keep, see, contract in reverse? For some of you, like I said, you're married. For some of you, you may just live with this person. Like I said, you want to leave, but you don't know where else you're going to go or how you're going to go about the situation, all right? But with this energy here, all right, this is, like I said, you being in balance, you being in sync with your heart, your mind, you knowing what it is that you want, you knowing who it is that you want, and you knowing where it is that you want to leave. This is also about spiritual maturity. So a lot of you at this point, you've seen what you need to see to know what you want to do, 
okay? You know how you want to move, so what's stopping you? What's taking so long? It's basically what spirit is getting at, okay? This contract, whatever it is, it's over, it's ending, okay? With it being in reverse, so just do what it is that you truthfully want to do, all right? So this is going to conclude you guys' reading. If it resonated, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.